Anderson a little bit and being able to sneak in, get that early vision control that V5 like to play around. All right, well, the final lock-in is a cannon for Wayward, which is interesting because Mike's TPing back in, he'll have priority there, and we'll be all fine and dandy. But this is what we're talking about for top esports, right? Like, Jackie Love, because of the changes to Jinx, will actually have pressure in this bot side. And as well, Knight, you can see forcing those early Merc threads. Yeah. A lot of nerlies, a lot of almost happenings, but maybe we get it with Knight with no flash. Oh, Shockwave comes in, Casa on the players on, knocks Knight away. But remember, as you said, no flash available. This blood for Casa. That was. Casa should be able to burn this down, but Tien. Maybe wants to try and smite fight this. They're just they're toying with the idea, but they're not gonna go for it. And now they're feared into the fight. Shockwave from Rookie is gorgeous! The Infernum does damage, but nowhere near in the no. early game. Well, they've damn well secured it. I mean, but this has like just been unfortunate for top. They just haven't been able to get in like they'd want to in Rich now. Maybe this victim. Oh, locked up Tien is here as well. Rich is surely gonna go down. Nearly gets wayward. Fair play to him, but Ultimately, he's massively it, accelerated in this game. He's got the kills, he's got the turret plates, and remember that CS lead, it's literally flipped around. It's literally yeah. opposite to what it was off the back of this passage of play. So C19. Tr turn your from, book to yeah, page exactly. 7. Yeah. <laughs> They've got a pre-orchestrated plan for this situation, and it feels like they pull it off so beautifully. Yeah, and I mean, look at the results, right? Like we said, hey, top esports all along have been like, hey, you've got the stronger uh, ability. We ain't going to win this. we got to trade something here. Yeah, and you can see Rich just goes to the Drake. So the top lane can grab the Drake while the rest of the team Five, grabs it. They're the just lane. getting absolutely everything they want. And this was my biggest worry for top. I think Tien has had a really coin flip kind of performance in the, the regular. By any space, he I gets the stun. He's like, okay, that's all I've got. I think I, that did three damage. <laughs> <laughs> that was the grand total. Oh, onslaught of shadows with the shockwave. Two of them found. Tien zips over the wall, but Knight won't be so lucky. V five. I mean, they're just unstoppable. They just find an opportunity and they die. So how's that um, the mojo looking over there? Push, Look, I'm, I'm going to be totally <laughs> honest with you, Daddy. The mojo is non-existent so far. I'm hoping that comes in game three or, the, or something because <laughs> uh, I'm not even sure if they've had their morning coffee yet. Yeah, I mean, but this is why I was kind of looking at this matchup going. It feels like V5 are just a better version of top esports, right? It's like they play very similar. Like Tien and Knight want to be the strong mid jungle. They want to use that to have Tien invade and look for skirmishes. But when you see how well orchestrated V5 are at like stopping top esports from getting the advantages that they need. We've got a cannon in the game. Perhaps that's the mojo window that we've been looking for for top esports to be yeah, able to find little them. pockets of vision that they set up that top esports are struggling with. Masters found them, but it's going to be uh, all out from Tien. There's the, sh the Onslaught Shadows coming on through. The ball is there, two-man shockwave. Castle's already gone down, but he'll be answered for. Mark with his onions, but it's not enough. And now Jackie Love chased by PP God. Rookie trying to follow up. That's a huge stun out from Knight. Jackie Love flashes away, but he goes down anyway. And Fotig once more. He wants a third, but it's Rich with a shotgun blast from the heavens. V5, 9 and 2. Right, because it means Casa, when he finds that moment, can just go for it. The rest of the team is totally on board. They're happy to follow up. And you can see both fight at this point unless they find some kind of insane play. It feels like V5 have already neatly packaged game num number one with a boat, you know, cinnamon stick in the bag, a little bit of yogurt perhaps. Uh, they're going full of love, actually, on this one. <laughs> it's such a terrible gift bag. <laughs> Yogurt has to be. Have you seen Love Remind Actually? Oh, it's Rowan oh, okay, Atkinson. No, no. He's, trying to get, he's trying to catch Snape out while he's cheating on his wife. Oh, there you go. Yeah. He's Cupid, for anyone Fair. that doesn't know. Um, <laughs> Rich down in the bottom side, and I want to mention Guy, because he has been phenomenal this year. And I, I think he's been uh, a fairly underrated top laner across his career. He's had some great games in LCK as well, but struggled to, to find that consistency and struggled to make his mark on the LCK, comes into the LPL as a fairly, uh, you know, not not a player that was super hyped up. And then he comes in and he's just been obliterating people. His yeah, lane control yeah. is just immaculate. Yeah, I, I have a bit of a theory on this. Like, we've played on Chinese solo queue. Those guys are kind of insane at lane yeah. mechanics. I think Rich just got his ass handed to him for like two to three months since <laughs> Chinese solo queue was like, ooh, oh, this is how ooh, I do lane. The flank, the flank we've been looking for. Wayward is behind enemy lines. Cars is here. Can Wayward find the old flashes forward? Uses his onions. There's a stun. But where's the rest of the team? Nobody follows up. It's going to be a Moonlight Vigil. But now the fear comes across the squad. And Fotix already finished them off. It's a double kill for him on the Jinx. And it's over before it ever began for Top Esports. 12 to 2 on the scoreline. And one last ditch effort is just nowhere near enough. It just felt like Top Esports were outclassed the entire way along. Weren't able to find the early moments that they wanted to with TN. And now V5 sitting in front of the Nexus turrets. There's only two members of Top Esports left.
Knight and Tian, but Knight misses his scout of the week, and that is going to be Curtains. But actually, Rookie wants a little bit more. Finishes off his mid lane counterpart just before the buzzer goes. It's a 12k gold lead, 13 to 2, and dominate. In right now, V5 just kind of have control of everything they want. The, the only side is mid top. Tian moves in. The paddle star was blocked, though, by the minions, so the Rookie might just walk away with this one. Doesn't even. Oh! How does that bubble hit? Knight is a monster! Knight, what was that? The, the mojo, baby! <laughs> he makes it happen when you've lost faith in top esports. He comes on top once again. There's the feathers from Jackie Love as well! And the mojo's in the bottom lane too! PP got down! And it's a lane dip! Yes, lane 12. That's evened up in that bottom side. So Jackie Love not too far behind there. There is still a signal of what's going on here, should be able to back away. But it will just be Top Esports answering with a blue buff on this bottom side as Carson moves up to the top side, disables the turret, looks for a dive onto Wayward, flash available, but it's too late! And Carson... It always makes me feel good when, when your or Orcs or Lyric says, it's just like you were saying earlier, as a monkey brain play-by-play, -play, <laughs> I don't get that often. Wayward having to ult under the tower here as we've got a duel between the junglers as well. Carson does not win this matchup. Tien absolutely bodying him, but Carson has got reinforcements, but they're too late, TN! Yeah, people might be looking at that going, I mean, why didn't PP got flash? But he already knew there was a ward there to spot out TN. Even if he flashed, he was still going to end up going down. So, instead, just hoping to keep that for a later. He does need to try and clear this wave as fast as possible. Rich is about to turn into Mega Knight as well, but Rich might go down before that even happens. Has to hop away from the play. Wayward trying to deny this wave. There's the Nar ulti rookie in onto the play. The stun is there. And that's a beautiful little combo from V5. This is what we talk about. Top Esports makes a play on the bottom side. V5 have an answer up top. And this is where you always kind of go, hey, you know, look at the death recap. It's like CC yes, for the spot side, which will be extended now to a certain extent too because of this wave being lost. Whereas when you look at V5, some of it is on Rookie, but a lot of it is now on Rich in this top lane. Mid he's lane now is V5. Have started that Herald off. You can see Rich trying to do that in the corner of the screen. It's top eSports. Go for the tower in the mid lane. Carsa dodging the bubble. This dragon, but crucially, V5 can't try and make a cross map play. It's interesting, isn't it? Because it feels similar to game number one. One, Carson might be in trouble here. Mark with the quickness, finds a knock up, but scatter the weak. Saves the jungle of Carson, trying to escape. The sleepy trouble bubble forces the ultimate out of the volley bear. Looks like Carson will survive. Now Rich over the wall, he's looking for Wayward. He's looking for redemption. He's looking to prove us wrong, Dagda. As Rich finds a solo kill. Into River, Wayward very far pushed on that bottom side of the map right here, pushing that wave incredibly deep. Scatter the weak comes on through, Knight. Slightly wide on the trouble bubble as Tien gets a double pillar. Is this a chance? PP got full splash. Mark with a quickness finds a knock up. This is the moment for top esports. One pick. What more can they find? A bubble onto Carsa as Rich into the back line. Trying to finish everyone off, but he just doesn't have the damage. Jackie Love survives. And top esports running away with things. It's going to be a pillar to slow everyone down. Knight forwards. Rookie dodges the bubble though. Keeps himself safe. And top esports in a 5 v Three. Dragon Soul on the line! Votic goes for it! In goes the rest of the squad! How do they do it? V5 are unbelievable! Two kills, and they make it a 3v3. Now Knight has to reset, needs to find a way back into this fight. Rookie, 200 HP. Tian trying to make his way in. Wayward needs to redeem himself in this fight. Votic is the man to watch. Rookie resetting. Has TP available and can rejoin the fight once more. Both junglers here. One smite available. Carsa does not have smite available right now. Votic trying to start it. Carsa in the pit. TP coming on through. PP got arriving on the scene as well. Knight has a smite in his pocket as well. This is going to be a coin flip. This is going to be a 50 50. This is going to be Drake resetting in the pit as Wayward goes down. And Top Esports are forced away. Reset it. The unkillables for V5. It is so hard to put this team in the ground. He's 0 and 5 in this game, oh Dagda. Boy. This is a tragic performance from our rookie of the split. And you know, we keep talking about Rich so far in this series. He's got a 70 CS lead. And he's got an opponent that's zero and five. It's it's a brutal matchup. Right yeah, now. rookie just catching him off guard. Like rookie moving down to this bot side, linking up with uh, Rich. This is something we see them do a lot, but unfortunately that'll be the question. But it's going to be a tough order. Rich pushing pretty aggressively in this bottom side. Tian is dead, so we'll see. The top esports can get away with it. I feel like Carson PP got no something's up here. They're going to try and get some vision. Going to try and spot it. We'll be able to do so. Six K on that. 
on top esports just gonna burn this and they actually get a 50 50 to baron this ain't the play Carson can't get the smite though maybe it was the play after all Carson with the song just keeps himself alive for the time being the rest of v5 trying to get in baron taken it's daylight robbery and burn it's not enough as Carson falls the blast cone to get out safety Votic trying to do it again the gravitum to pull them back in tn the target it's rich trying to get the damage down rookie on the back side but knight flashes away tn low but keeps himself alive mark saving his team knight now with a bubble looking for a bit of damage that back. A disaster. But now Drake is just going to be started off, just going to be finished off. That's Ocean Soul, top esports with just great controlled gameplay here. As long as Rich is threatening on the side though, they can't really go back to sieging up this mid lane, even though like one auto attack <laughs> yeah. would basically take this down. There we go, one more auto comes on in, the team moves forward. Knight even had an ace. Well, after 2020 being our finalists in both spring and summer. Then you get into 2021, it's like, well, top esports aren't oh, looking so hard. Dive in the bottom side, Wayward's in trouble. Has an Ocean Soul though, so he's pretty hard to kill at this point. Collateral damage, Rich is chasing him under the Nexus Towers, turns Mega and bounces away. Rookie's taking the tower in the meantime. Rich it's a slides Tian against the wall. There's the Sky of the Week, but in comes Knights trying to turn the play. Oh, a bubble onto Rookie, it's huge. Photic over the wall, can he save his mid laner? Rookie flashes out, Photic, low on HP, Tian battering him away with a club as Knight finds no, not another bubble. It was a Q. In fact, Votic survives. And now they move into the base. Knight versus oh the world. The rest of his team pushing in the top side of the map, trying to end the game. Knight has to defend against two. It's going to be the, the ultimate coming out from Renata on the top side. I think top esports are pushed reset. away. They got a Perhaps an opportunity here. Looking for the towers. Votic getting damaged. Cleanses the bubble. Keeps oh himself safe. God. Looking to finish the game. Knight can't do it. He doesn't have the tools. 2v1. V5. How have they pulled this off? Every time. How do V5 do it all the time? We oh, wait, no, that would be Victor rich. Flex? Victor Flex? Yeah, it could be okay. top, could be Cassiopeia top. Oh, this is getting spicy, Dagda. I actually don't know which way this is going to go. So, I mean, yeah, this looks like Akali is a champion that you look to smoke while off a kill. Oh, off the another chance in the bottom side. PP God dashes out, though, and will survive. I thought that was going to be a kill Ooh. there, but the Ignite was already on cooldown. Wayward and Rich also going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, both of them using their flash. I'm not entirely sure what happened for the whole exchange. The junglers are moving up. We've got a game on our hands, Dagda, as Caster's looking for Wayward. Wayward no flash, Tien moves in as well, looking for the Q, finds it onto Rich. His mind is telling him no, and his body is going to listen for now. <laughs> His wayward will crash the wave. How long is it going to listen though? Rich will get, <laughs> oh, won't get the TP <laughs> the off. So Rich is trying to get the mana and the reset off so they can't look for a dive and also be able to pick up this wave, but we'll now stick around so we'll have to share. Oh, all in at the bottom side. PP God once again low on HP. One more auto from Jackie Love for first blood. And the feathers underneath Votic and they won't tickle. Mark getting low, but he has his. When you me. dissuade Rich from being in these fights as well, the short range that top esports have won't be bypassed by this Cassio. Wayward's in trouble here. Doesn't have his quick draw available by the looks of things. He's going to be grounded. Rich has the damage and Carter. Yeah, Knight has won the LPL, but Rookie has actually also only won the LPL one time. Everyone thinks that he's been dominating for years, but realistically, he's only the favorite this time around. Blue buff the contest though is Tien, trying to move in alongside Mark, trying to get a smite down, but Carter's here. Should be able to smite that away from himself. And now a fight on the cards. PP got low on HP. Knight into the back line and finds one. But it's a one for one already as Knight dashes out the back side of the fight. Shirking out. His caster trying to finish the kills. Knight can't turn it around. Jaguar flashes to even things up. Rookie trying to finish Knight off. Low on HP. And Knight doesn't have the energy. Rookie finds one at the end. Like you look even at V5 who averaged ready a kill a minute. But might get killed. Oh, great hook coming out from Mark. Jaguar is here. Won't find the route just yet as... Oh my god, PP got halfway across the map. That's the power of Khan. But the feathers are plucked away up onto the map. It feels like Top Esports want to muscle into this river. Fotic moving on over there. It's a knock up onto Kasa. There's a bounty available. If Jackie Love can pull the feathers, he can't finish the kills. And it's actually Tien to go down. Mark falls as well. And Kasa's just too damn tanky. Everyone You're on the tank line. Okay, cool. PP God just dashes in, sets up beautifully oh, Jackie. No, Jackie Love. Flashes over the wall, does not have his ultimate available. Another laser would do the trick. The root dodged and Rookie flashes forward to finish the job. Jackie Love down, seven to four. Back to the LPL, I was like, look, this is V5 versus top esports. This is gonna be shenanigans. This is gonna be Mojo. This is going to be a five game series. And I don't want this to happen. It ain't over yet, Dagda. It ain't absolutely body top esports, but there's still a glimmer of hope as Tien tries to make the play, but the quickness denies everything. And Tien is just rinsed. And says no! It's <laughs> just been a couple of years for Carsa.
2020 when he last won in summer. Smart going to get chained up a little bit here. The quickness is there. The damage coming out from Votic. That's a gorgeous little gun. It's, uh, it's a bit of a disaster here from Top Esports. And the Herald will be started by P5 now. Janky Love trying to get a bit of harass onto PP Go, but realistically, I'm not sure this is one that's contestable. You see Knight in the wings. Maybe some kind of miracle can happen, but you can see Mark nowhere near the play just yet. Still moving There's over no vision. lane. They have no idea where Knight is. This is such a good position for Knight. Can Top Esports do it? Herald taken. Now the engage comes out from Carson Knight into the back line. Keep your eyes on the Akali. Trying to make it happen. The feathers go across the team. Knight takes them apart. And Top Esports somehow coming out on top. Rich the next target as Knight falls. But he's done what he needed to do. Jackie Love survives. And Top Esports come back into the game yeah, ability here to go forward and v5 they just can't kill off this akali before the damage is done yeah the blade collar from jack kilo with it uses shroud on this one Carsa did manage to somehow get that herald i'm not sure how he managed to pull that off during all of the chaos but yeah he's just top side of the play there is a blast going there Fotic gonna try and 1v1 the graves and it looks like he might win red and white time to fight there's the quickness out from pp god and Fotic Cuts wayward downward. Feels like a lot of this series has been top esports finding potential windows, but then V5 punishing wayward, finding an opportunity to shut wayward down. And now a tower in that bottom side of tier two in favor of V5. Once again, that gold lead starting to build. It's about one and a half thousand gold, but maybe Jackalove can even that up somewhat with the tower in the mid lane. TN is here. Can he find Botic? Oh, he kind of whiffs it though. Kind of whiffs the combo. There's a fear onto TN. He's taking tower shots galore. And I'm not going to lie, that one's a little bit tragic. Is there time to show it? It's a 4v5. Knight is on the flank. Wayward engaged upon here. Jackalove already using the Feather Storm. Getting a lot of feathers down, but not much damage off it. Knight has to go golden in the back line. PP God goes down. Knight jumps to the rest of his team. He's inside the Shroud. Can he finish him off? Yes, he can! Knight is insane! What a play on the Akali. Rookie finishes him off. But, but Toke is strong with this one. He is. Can he find a miracle still? I think it's just going to back away. It is going to be Baron oh. somehow for top esports. That's twice now in this and game. Now it's rookie versus the world, and unfortunately, Knight's just winning out in this mid lane matchup. Five kills for rookie any it's, other time. It, like, the gold graph for this game is going to be one of the most <laughs> LPL gold graphs you have ever seen. It's already swung like four times across this one. Tower's going down across the map using this Baron effectively. Rookie trying to trade, but on the victor won't be able to be too effective. Yeah, I mean, it means you still lose your two towers. And I mean, if Rookie and Karsa are still here, you just go for the base. I mean, but actually we get top esports recalling, so we won't actually be able to get more. But I mean, trading in that scenario isn't too bad. Yes, top esports going back for the dragon, so they will get like a little bit of extra on the cake, but yeah. essentially, the top are this again after game number two. My goodness, that would be something to behold. Cars is here, and I think they're gonna go for it. Tian believes in his smite finger. Who's gonna press D better? It's Tian this time. Cars are in the middle of everyone, low on HP, but Wayward flashing over somehow gets out to save. We've seen them with a man disadvantage before pull these fights off in this series. Tian, low on HP in the back of the pit. He's going to have to early smite. Or in fact, he's not even going to have to smite. Just cues it to finish the kill off. And now Rich on the front line. Votic goes forward once more, but he can't finish the kills. Rich forced away. Knight trying to chase Good him down. To the back line. Honestly, if, uh, if Top Esports somehow were able to come back and win this series, I think Knight deserves some. Particularly Jackie Love plays <laughs> during <laughs> the team fights either. Uh, but now it's going to be this top tier two taken down. The Baron has timed out, so that'll be all. They will not give up this Drake. They've 50-50 so many times this series. What's one more? Knight behind enemy lines, sweeping, trying to find his way into he the is. play. Tien has smite available. Knight jumps over the wall. It's going to be Fotic in trouble. Knocked up by Mark, but Knight can't follow it up. Has to go into the Zonyas. But the Drake is taken. No, Karsa finds the smite. And now V5 find the fight on top of it. It's unbelievable. They do it again, but Jackie Love, no way. He turns it around. That's two for Jackie Love. Jackie! Turns it on to Fotic! Oh my days, it was so close. But Fotic finds. Wayward. Jackie Love cancels the reset, uh, but at night is spotted. I don't think vision matters right now because the Baron is just going down so damn quickly. TN trying to get into the pit, but he's going to be too late. What? Actually, Wayward? what? Wayward? How? The Onslaught of Shadow is going to be up momentarily. Look at this but if though. They can pick Look at the solo oh, lane. Yeah. Night and Wayward, they're just going into the base. All top esports need to do is deny recalls. And the soul is there. Carson moving in, but Jackalove with a lot of damage already. Fotic shooting onto the back line. Mark trying to buy time, trying to buy space. 
But the retreat from Top Esports, they're not going for the base race. Kasa, one HP right here. He can't contest the Drake on that kind of health. And it means Top Esports, not only do they get themselves an inhib, but with a Zyre and a Lee Sin, they guarantee Infernal Soul. Top Esports, they lose the support, but they gain everything. Wayward and Knight, though, we're still playing Keep Away. We're not under the woods yet, Munch. Looking for a bit more of a fight. 5v4. Top Esports need to hold on. If no! no! Jackie Love betrays Tien. I can't believe we just witnessed that. Tien now in his GA. Bit of damage coming out from the rest of the team. In goes Knight. There's one kill. There's two. And Top Esports find their way back into the fight. Votic is still alive though. But Knight trying Botic. to make sure work of him. Tien next to Knight. Can they finish the AD carry? Q goes wide. But Knight finishes him off. Jackie Love on the other side of the fight. Solo kills Rich. And that should be game. The unkillables have been slain. They have been denied the 3-0 here. And top esports. It was hard fought. It was well earned. And they will find themselves with the potential for the reverse sweep still alive. Top esports hold on a night. And Jackie Love. What a here And you just play for these like big late game fights, but it is gonna be the victor, and there is the Rakan. So the Rakan comes on through in the end alongside. Jackie loves Abelios. And now, again, we're going to have to see it. Jackie. Oh, no. 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 What have I done? No. The cast of curse. Jackie Love has to flash. Cast to try to chase him down. But Jackie Love survived for now, but not for long enough. The exact opposite will immediately happen. Top I'm Esports to don't stand a, a chance dollars. in game number four. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I don't know, man. Look, we, we have different goals in life. I just <laughs> want to see Top Esports win. You're like, this is my chance at millions. Wayward is about to get solo killed. Rich, in the meantime, up in the top lane, just dunks Wayward after Wayward gets the counter pick. How does that happen? You're not supposed to be able to just, like, sit in on top of this guy. No, no, oh, no, no. off! he has no sums and he's taken down. It's a straight lane dip on both sides of the map. Wait a second. No way, Wait rookie. Caught in the mid lane. It's the other side, though. Okay. It's the other side. Okay. So it's a complete bluff, and now Tien spots Carsa. Yeah, that's going to be the slow coming out from Tien. Follows up with a ward dash, but Carsa gets onto the chickens to pull himself out to safety. Got a lot of healing off of the chickens as well, thanks to his W. In comes Mark with the follow up. Knight is there, but doesn't quite get an assist. It's now knock up from Tom Ketch, but Tien has Mark alongside him. The smite to keep himself healthy. Flashes over the wall. Photic is here as well, but rooted. Damage out from Knight. Jackie Love arriving on the scene. Has the Infernum, has the Graviton, but needs to be cautious not to go too far on his own. The other two matchups have delivered, but Wayward, it's been really one sided. Realm Warp into the bottom lane here. Flame Chompers will deny Knight for a time. It's Tien trying to move in as well. Jumps forward, but the kick dodged by Photic. PP God knocked up. This will be one guaranteed here for Top Esports. One more auto does the job for Jackie Love. And it's I think the, the, the biggest issue for them is just that, hey, you know, well, Victor's already in the area. Karsa had already gone down towards this bottom side, so they're just not really in the ambition to look for the cross map. And honestly, if for V5, they kind of want to isolate Rich into this matchup, especially with how well it's been going so far. But as I say that, Rookie seen if maybe he can actually find the uh, the answer to the dragon being taken by top esports, but he's just been pushed off the mid wave. Yeah, I mean, if you're rookie right now, you're feeling the pressure, right? You're feeling like you need to get out into one of these side lanes, have some influence, because that's what Knight is doing, and it's Jackie Love that's getting ahead, it's Tien that's getting ahead. Tien with a lead on Lee Sin. We've seen terrifying things in that position before. Wayward wants a bit of revenge for earlier. Heavy trade up on the top side. Turns into Meganar, and it means Rich has to back away. Mark moving into the bottom side, flanking his own lane, but Cast is already here. Jackie Love in trouble, has flash, has heal, but they're not going to be enough. Oh, there's the healing coming out from the Severum. Gets under the tower, but goes down anyway. Casa behind enemy lines, chased down by TN. Can the Sonic Wave land? Casa needs nice. to find the dodge, but the Q lands. Knight behind the scene as well. It's Votic as the target. One more hit, finishes the job. And now, PP got the target as TN finishes off Carter as well. And Top Esports, they go 0-2 down, but they will not go down in the series without a fight. And just every reaction from Top Esports has been perfect. Knight consistently following the plays from V5 to the bot side. Jackie Love will lose out oh. losing that big wave to the turret, but mid. Oh, rookie, you've oh, made an error is. here. You've stayed way too long, and you've dug too greedily. They've Any jungler to have a big lead on. 
Lee Sin is definitely one of the junglers that can use it, that can find kills. Cast is just going to contest the Herald. While there's a play going on top side, Rich out of mana, but gets underneath the tower. Uses ult and his flash to survive on this one. I have no idea who got the Herald on this one. Is Mark and Tien trying to survive on this one? Back in away, PP God. Low on HP. Or actually, no, he's not low on HP. He's Tom Kent. He's completely invincible. Walks away. Carcer trying to chase out Jackie Love, who's been caught in the river. Jackie Love is not having a very fun game, but he does have Severum, and Carcer realizes that that's a whole lot of Jackrams. Can't stay in the fight. Jackie Love now will get slowly but surely chased out of the play. Has Inferno, maybe. Moonlight Vigil's already been used, though. No summoners. Slowly but surely, they chase the go. Knight Mark trying to set up a play in the mid lane. The quickness comes out. And there's a knock up onto Rookie. The follow up is there from Knight and a kick from Tien. Another kill into Tien's pocket. He does take three turret shots for his trouble, but Cast has been caught. Wayward is there. Tien, you've got to give this one over to someone. No, he doesn't. Six. Spinning out the lanes like Wayward clearly has been struggling in the 1v1. But it's when Wayward can link up with the rest of his team, he's been able to influence. To try and play through like side moves, right? Like you still have Rich who's winning and now oh. maybe winning a bit more. Speaking of Rich, he just walks straight into the Rakan. There's an insane CC chain. Tien just takes another one. 7 0 said like that has immediately gone wrong. So I'm a little bit nervous now that I've said it out loud. <laughs> and I think the person that's making you that little bit nervous is. Yeah, for another minute and a half or so. Baron will be coming onto the map shortly. So if top esports want to go for that Herald, they need to make it happen pretty soon. Top side, but Knight has Rift Herald. But V5 have used the Hextech, the Hextech gate to get in, but they may actually be able to slip in here and try and separate a big ult. Rapid Fire Cannon, Kraken Slayer now oh. for Photic though. He's so strong. Wayward's about to turn into Mega Nar. That's going to be Moonlight Vigil. This Dragon's just taken. That's three Drakes. Top esports don't even need to fight. They're quite happy with that one. They got themselves another Drake. They got themselves the objective. They might even get a red buff on top of it as well. Beautiful stuff. Oh, this might be too much though. Wayward stayed a little bit too long. He actually used his Nartle on the red buff as well. Uh, it's a bit of a tragedy from Wayward on this one. Tien, Sonic Wave in. They're going for the play. Look at the turnaround from Top Esports. It's just too beautiful. Everyone on the same page. Rookie taken down. Two more for Tien. Why not have nine kills? And Fotic, he's under the tower and he's awfully lonely in the world. Knight. It's going to move on forward, finds the route, but it's immediately cleansed. Everfrost won't land and it will be the end of the play. But regardless, 12 to 6. It's a 5k goal lead. It's three Drakes and a bunch of towers on top. Dagda, I think Top Esports might just push us to 5. Look, if you flip a coin enough times, it's going to come up what you want at least 50%. And Tien has had two pretty miserable games. A third one that was very rocky, but on this Lee Sin, on what has been a signature oh, pick, he's doing it. And another pick onto Richard, the bottom side. Knight grabbing himself a kill, 3-0 and 8 on the rise. TN has found PP God. Jackie Love might finally get himself a bit of gold in this game as well, <laughs> as surely they can donate the top catch over. And it's simply just... behind in that mid lane. Only one and a half items. He cannot carry a fight yet. Carissa. Trying to see if what he can do, but oh, Tien again. He especially can't carry a fight when Tien is doing that to him. And he gets the healing from the Gore Drinker. The Chaos Storm. The last two series are now looking amazing in game number four of this series. Can they secure this Drake? Casa is around. The rocket comes in. It is going to be secured. Top Esports with yet another objective. But this game, it feels like he's finally able to breathe out with all of the issues he had last year with stress, with his wrists. Like, Casa's is going to try and go for the steal. I take it back. He was, he was ramping up. He was going real quick yeah, in the jump. One on towers. I mean, top esports. They, they have everything. They can. They have everything they could possibly. Second, so at least you may be able to get this tower if you push in quick enough, and they will. With V5 having rookie on the top side, now that the base is open, it just becomes so much easier yeah. to collapse down towards wayward in the spot side as well. What have you got, V5? This is all or nothing right now. Yeah, we need a last ditch fight from V5. See if they can hold themselves in this game. Second in him tower goes down on this one. It's the lightning starting to chain between the V5 players. That will build up over time. But that's two in hips taken. And top esports can just move over to the top side with a realm warp for oh. the minion wave. They don't even have to play through the top minion wave. They just move it. It's beautiful play as top esports look for a third inhibitor. Big damage out from V5 though. Maybe they can do something to hold on to this objective, but it's not looking good. They just can't close the gap. TN trying to get into the back line here. The ward dash doesn't quite make it happen, but Wayward finds a target caster into the back line. 
as it's going to be a GA coming on through. Fotic chased down by Knight in the back side of the play. And Knight's completely invincible. Casa and Rookie can't hurt him. A double for Jesus. Knight as he just 1v4s Penta? on Penta? the fountain. Penta? This is unbelievable from Knight as I don't think he'll get the Penta. Casa robbing his old teammate. But it doesn't matter because Top Esports, they're going to finish this game off. Oh, maybe it happens? No, Casa, he walks away again. He, I think he actually bought. <laughs> they're going. They're Did going. He they're He's going to stop watching his pocket. He's just <laughs> playing with them. But Top Esports, they'll force us to five game. Now for game number five, Top Esports giving Wayward okay. the counter pick. And he goes for a Malphite. He wants to ruin Fotix's day. Well, so I was wrong. I was totally wrong. Carson now has to try and back away or get stunned potentially by Tien. Mark and Jackal over here, but Rookie has moved over as well. Tien, damn tanky, stunned by Rookie. Flashes to the rest of his team. Carson jumping into the back line. Jackalove low on HP, but it's Carson to go down. First blood for Jackie Love. PP got no flash available, and he'll fall too. Knight with a kill, and now chasing onto Fotic. Flash available, but that's the wrong side of the map. Knight with two kills, Jackie Love with one, and TN wants a little bit for himself. Grabs a kill, get and it's dragon. And you know, top esports are looking at the other side of the bracket. They are looking at sitting in prime position here. And when you look at who needs to step up, it's the veterans, and they're about to find more. Oh, Rich has ult available. They need to be cautious not to overdive, but no, they don't. They don't even need to dive him, just killing him from range. Mark grabs himself that kill and more will be denied. But actually, first tower might go the way of Fotic here as he will be able to finish that tower off before Jackie Love can do the same on the bottom side. Yeah, he won't be able to continue forward here as Fotic because Karas actually ended up tanking the turret for quite a bit of time there. So Wayward will know that he's fairly all right to just sit by himself. Not actually roaming up. Are they looking for the engage? No, they're going to just back away instead. So Jackie Love will get a turret to himself, but it's, it's a Biggest small problem that we were looking at is like, hey, if you're on top esports, oh, you get way way with the fights. He's, he's just fight. going for it. He's got himself a Barbie Cinder, and he reckons that he could just go for an extra kill. Gives the thumbs up to Rich as well. One more seismic shard will do the trick. Wayward. He's, he's found it. right now. Like four and a half thousand gold. You still got another rift herald that's going to come onto the map. Your top terror oh, is nearly no. gone. Rich is dead again. Oh Fudge. God. Surely not. One more size. Wait, wait for the ult. Wait, there it has is. the ulti available. Oh, but the Guardian comes on through. Last possible second. The Rich bailout. gets a bailout. And PP God. Lift. On up there. And it, yes, Rookie is defending. He has Karsa there with them. What oh. else can they get? Oh, God. Rich, Rich, mate. This is not the place you want to be. It's just going to get jumped on, pounced on by Tien. Use the ulti. It's thunder versus thunder. Lightning versus lightning. Tien does not have flash, but uh, in fact, just destroyed. I mean, it's a bear. it was the mid jungle. Tien and Knight again with the stronger mid jungle and again coming out on top. And it just feels like V5. It's our, well, the final hurdle the top esports need to break down to truly unlock the map. And they will be able to do so here with one last minion wave. So now, top esports fully in control. He's the guy, he's never quite been the top man. Wayward, a similar story. He's found yet another chance as Knight moves on over and the two solo laners will find themselves a little freebie down at the bottom side. But I do agree with you again, Knight, like involved yeah, when you're seeing Jackie Love come online. Oh. Mark! Here we go, Carsa trying to find an engage onto Jackie Love, but can't really find the commitment. Tien will be able to walk away from the play. There's a Moonlight Vigil. Carsa low on HP, actually. Uh -oh. Calibrum's there, Tien jumping into the play. Realm Warp coming through. Knight, Everfrost across the team. In goes Wayward to the back line with a bit of damage to boot as well. Jackie Love still going strong. Rookie 1 HP flashes away, but Carsa is down. Top Esports, they found all they needed, and that'll be their Drake. That's going to be the third one hey. for Top. Uh, Spirit Magician near him? I don't know what Karma is, honestly. Yes. <laughs> I have no idea. Some kind of Ionian, that's all I know. But regardless, it'll be a trick for top esports. That's what I do know. Nice little play from TN, blocking the rocket. I feel hard like to shut down, but they haven't okay. even looked alive in this series. They're going to try for something. Carsa goes in. It's desperation, though. Has to try and all out. Wayward's on the back line already. Moonlight Vigil's in, and it's already over. Oh, but is it? The old combo comes out from V5. Can they turn it around? The damage is there. Tien jumps forward. Can Rookie find it? Can Fotic find it? The answer is regrettably no. Rookie will fall. The flash forward from Knight to finish his counterpart. Once and more put themselves one step 
closer to crowning themselves champions again. 2020 was the year of top esports. It was the year of JDG. They are seeing and just a handful of structures in yeah. the way. Minimal pressure from V5 right now, and this Baron is going to do damage. And make no mistake, this game can end in the blink of an eye. If Wayward finds an ultimate on a couple of carries, Top Esports will end the game immediately. They've still got a minute and a half on the Baron. Drake is coming up in 30 seconds. That'll be sold for Top Esports as well. There is literally everything in their favor. The only way I can see V5 winning this is like instantly bursting out Jackie. That's oh, why Carson was no. on the flank, but he's caught. Carson's has found it. Jaguar's trying to burst them, but he's marked that's low. Rocking across the map. There's one for Fotic. It's one for one. Oh, but in going. the meantime, everyone else is falling. Fotic going for the play. TN trying to escape on the top side. Flashes away. In the meantime, the solo laners from Top Esports looking for an inhibitor. What is the score right now? It's three versus three on the map. Potentially fightable on the Drake. Oh, we're Here's going. We're going. For Knight, he's going in. 1v3 here. He's so damn tanky. Tien joining the fray. They actually go off. The bailout. No, the bailout. Fotic survives. Look at Tien trying to finish these kills off. Fotic finishes him off. Fotic stays alive in the fight. And the dragon is there. But much, there's no way. Leaving that and finding that play was so much more valuable. So top esports, though, now starting to crest up towards his top side. They kind of learned hey, that. that hey. one. He's happy to just be another bruiser. Keep your eyes on Jackie Love. If he survives, Top Esports win. But if V5 can shut him down, that's the moment. Into the pit they go, but TN wins the smite fight once more. It's 50-50 all day long, but Top Esports are happy with that. They're looking for more, as this might just be game. Knight jumping forwards to find Rich once again, but they turn around onto Fotic. They find everything they could have wanted with Baron in pocket. Dagder, I think they've done it. With seconds left on Fotic's flash, they get the AD carry. There's nobody left. Knight's in the base. Knight pushing forwards alongside Wayward. That'll be one in here going down in the bottom side. Rookie and PP God versus the world. It's a great scan of the week, but he's got no damage. This will be game and top esports throw victory five aside. The power of the mojo is too strong and they make their way into the upper bracket finals. A date with destiny waits for top esports. 2020 vision is still.